In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Minecraft server for free using Eternos. So the first thing you want to do is go to the Minecraft launcher and check and see which version of Minecraft you're running. In my case, it's 1.20.4. Then go ahead and open up your web browser and under Google search, we're going to type in Eternos. And this website offers Minecraft servers for free forever. So go ahead and select login or sign up. So if you're new to this website, select sign up. I'm going to sign in now though. Now, once you've logged into your account, press Eternos in the top right corner, which will bring you to this home screen here. And you'll notice a lot of ads. And this is because that's what supports the free servers. And you'll also notice in the center, create a server. So let's go ahead and select that button now. Now on this page is where you want to select the edition of Minecraft. I'm going to be using Java, but if you're using the Bedrock edition, go ahead and select that. Now you can also change the name of the server if you'd like. However, I'm just going to leave it as is and go to create. After you press create, you'll be brought to this page here, and this is where your server is. So if you ever get lost, just press server on the left sidebar, and that'll bring you here. Now, if you take a look down, you'll see the address of the server, the software, we're using the vanilla version of Java. However, if you are using a mod launcher, go ahead and select change. And this is where you'll find a bunch of different mod launchers such as Fabric, NeoForge, and Forge. And go ahead and select that if you're using it. And you also want to check and make sure that the version is correct. And in this case, it is for me. But if it's not, you can change that as well. Now, before pressing start to create the server, there's two key areas we need to look at on the left sidebar. The first one being options, which is where you can customize the game, such as how many people can join. Are you playing on survival or creative adventure spectator? So have a look through here and change it the way you want it as well as access so if people want to access your server what you want to do is have your friends make an account on Eternos and then you want to add their username to this list and then they'll be able to join your server so let's now go back to server on the left sidebar and now we're going to press start then just press yes to accept the Minecraft EULA and then it'll start preparing and this may take a couple of minutes to start your server. Now, while your server is being created, you can press the blue copy button to get your server address. Now, once your server has been created and it launches, it'll go online and you'll notice a timer to the left. And this is essentially just to stop people from running a server with no one in it. So if this clock hits zero, then your server is going to automatically shut down until you launch it again. So now that the server is online, we're going to go ahead and press play. Then once you're on the home menu, you can go to multiplayer and we're going to go to direct connection, then press control V from what we copied earlier and we're going to go to join server. So if you did come across any errors when trying to connect to your server, oftentimes this is because you pasted the wrong thing, or if you tried to do it really fast, you can get errors. So wait about 30 seconds to a minute, then try again and it should work. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.